What's up guys, Augie from 2Tech here, and we're gonna be talking about what's more important, high refresh rate, lower res, or higher res, low refresh rate. Super high refresh rate, so good, it hurts. Today we're going to be comparing two ASUS Tough Gaming monitors, the VG27AQ 1440p 144Hz IPS monitor compared to its lower res counterpart, the VG279QM 280Hz Full HD. And before we get started, you should know that we spent our own money on this, so our opinions aren't biased in any way. To run most modern games at 280Hz Full HD requires a hefty GPU like the 2070 Super or better, likewise for the 1440p at 144Hz, so price isn't a limiting factor here. Seeing as we were able to pick up the 1440p on Newegg for just $429 and the 280Hz monitor for just $399 at Micro Center. So it all comes down to the user. Getting down to the build quality. Both monitors have identical stands and I love the adjustments you can make right out of the box. If I had to nitpick, the casing in no way feels cheap but looks a little unpolished on the back. The inputs are bare metal leaving them looking a little more cheap than some of the other $400 monitors. And not nearly as nice as the back of some of the LG monitors, if that's something that's important to you. Both ASUS monitors are made mostly from plastic and are vessel compatible, just by removing these rubber grommets. While the colors are very vivid like other IPS displays, both panels are subject to light bleep, but I only noticed it when an all black screen was shown for more than a few seconds, like a loading screen or seeing a long video transition. Let's talk about why you're really here, the gaming experience on both monitors. When it comes to gaming, even when I wasn't getting 280 frames, I found the experience to be really smooth. Definitely not as drastic as the jump from 60 hertz to 144, but definitely smoother than I was used to. After switching back to the 1440p, I found myself missing how smooth the experience was of the 280 hertz tough monitor. For everything else that wasn't a competitive fast paced game, the 1440p monitor was great for campaign titles and consuming content, and was a better experience. When consuming content, it was much more enjoyable on the 1440p monitor. Seeing crisp text and scenery versus the full HD was obvious. That's not to say that the 1080p monitor didn't hold its own against its 2K counterpart, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, I find myself using the 280Hz monitor regardless of the resolution, since I found the smoother motion to be more advantageous than the high resolution. I felt like I had a slight edge in Warzone, and after doing this review, I actually switched to this as my main monitor. Hey guys, it's Vince with 2Tech. So let's talk about content creation side of these two monitors. Although they're not necessarily marketed as content creating monitors, I would highly recommend that you would go with the VG27AQ as it pulls double duty. So what you're getting with the VG27AQ is a little bit better color accuracy as it covers 99% sRGB. So it's gonna have a lot better colors as opposed to the 1080p panel. So if you're looking at a monitor that is a little bit better at colors, but also does great at gaming, I would highly recommend that you look at the Acer Nitro XV272U. I have this one personally, and the only reason why I would recommend this one over the Asus is because it comes factory calibrated with the Delta minus two. So the colors are gonna be a lot more accurate as opposed to those two. But if you're choosing between the 2K and the 1080, I would highly recommend the Asus out of those two. So for my final thoughts, if you play competitively, get the VG279. After switching to this one for my main gaming monitor, I haven't had any regrets. If you're not a fan of the 27 inches, Asus also offers the VG259QM, which is their 24 and a half inch version with the same specs. For campaign players, content creators, content consumers, and those who still wanna do some serious gaming on 1440p, the VG27AQ is absolutely beautiful. Making this decision, tough. Tough like tough gaming. If you like what we're doing here at 2Tech, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to pick up anything from the video, affiliate links are down below. And in the comment section, let us know what would you choose, high refresh rate or high resolution? Until next time, this is Aug from 2Tech.